everybody, welcome to Frog's Point Honey. Let's make hot sauce. To say that I love hot sauce would be a ridiculous understatement. This is the current selection of what I have in my refrigerator right now. And they are all, every one of them, absolutely wonderful. And I recommend that you try them. Even that one in the bear, it's homemade with grape juice. Homemade hot sauce is all a matter of taste. You need hot peppers, you need vinegar, and everything beyond that is whatever you want to do. Some people like to put a lot of sugar of some kind in theirs, honey or molasses or brown sugar or white sugar, whatever else. Some people like to put in a whole bunch of other spices and herbs and things like that. And ultimately, it's up to you what kind of flavors you want to create and how you want to go about it. One of the most important choices you can make to vary the flavor of your hot sauce is what kind of hot peppers you use. You can go one note or you can do many notes depending on what you're looking for. Here I used one jalapeno, two chipotle peppers, four habanero, three ghost, and four scorpions. That's a lot of heat. To add sweetness and a great depth of flavor, I used a can of pineapple, some fresh basil. Now, this isn't as fresh as I'd like. I usually grow my own, but it has snowed three of the last four days, despite the fact that it's May 14th. A big whack of flat leaf parsley. I love the flat leaf compared to the curly, but whatever works for you. I'm going to use apple cider vinegar in this, and I'm going to round it out with some gorgeous goldenrod honey from my bees in the backyard here at Frog's Point. To round out the flavors, I'm going to use a head of garlic, an onion, and both the zest and juice of one lime. So the first thing you're going to do is take all your peppers, stick them on a pan, and pour on a little bit of neutral oil, just a little bit. Something like vegetable oil, canola oil, something like that. Nothing that's going to burn really easily like olive oil. Give them a quick toss around. I'm going to hit them with a good whack of salt. Chop about the top fifth off of a head of garlic. Next comes your onion. Give it a quick chop, slice. Just give it a chop and peel it. And then rough, rough chop. Put the garlic and onion on the pan with the peppers and give them a little drizzle of oil. Take the peppers and onion and garlic and stick them under the broiler. Now we're going to check those in five minutes. <laughs> Meanwhile, stick a pan on medium heat, grab your chipotles, and just break them up a little bit. As they heat up, you're going to toss them around like that, keep them from getting too hot too fast. Once they smell smoky and delicious, pull them off the heat. Five minutes is up, so pull the peppers out of the broiler and take a look at them. They look pretty good. There's some nice dark spots here. They're just starting to char. The garlic is not burned, which is absolutely critical. I think they could probably use another minute or two. We're just gonna give these a little bit of a flip. and say, let's try another three minutes. Perfect, that's exactly what you want. You got a little char on each one, no burn on the garlic. Onion's got a little bit of char on it. It's everything we want in a tray of goodness. For this next part, get yourself some gloves, nitrile or latex, okay? You do not want to be handling these with your bare hands, trust me, all right? Just take them, give them a coarse chop, Get rid of the stems. That done, just pop the garlic out and squeeze it out of its skins. Meanwhile, zest the lime.
chop your lime in half, squeeze it in. In go your chipotles. All of that basil, minus the stems. Same with the parsley. The whole can of pineapple juice and pineapple. One heaping tablespoon of honey. Drop your veg in the blender. Add a good pinch of salt and fill it with apple cider vinegar. Slap on the lid and give it a whir. You can go ahead and use it right like this. It's chunky and thick and, and, and delicious. There's plenty here. You can give it to your friends. You can share it. You can do whatever you want to with it. What I'm gonna do though, I'm gonna stick it in the fridge for two days and let all those flavors soak into that vinegar and get super nice and happy. And then I'm gonna strain it and make myself a nice, smooth, more of a Louisiana style sauce that's more got a water consistency than something super thick. Either way works, either one is fine. See you in two days. So it's been two days and here we go. We've got ourselves a strainer, we have a pitcher, we're just going to put that on there, pop this open, and let it drain. Now this is going to take a while, so be patient. So as it starts to drain slower, just give it a little work around with a spoon. And come back and do that every minute or two. We're going to leave this probably for about 20 minutes or so to really make sure all that delicious sauce drains down below. Check this out. It's flat. It's easy to store. What you're going to do with this is you're going to throw it in the freezer. And if you want to use some for a sandwich spread or to put in a little soup or anything like that, all you have to do is break off a little piece and you're good to go. Works great. Super yummy. All right, it's time to give this a try. So I'm going to start by filling a sanitized mason jar. And I've still got a lot left. This is a generous, generous recipe. So if you have friends, no, I'm not going to do that. Here we go. Let's take a little taste. Down the hand. Mm. That is so good. It is super spicy. The uh, the flavor of the different peppers comes through. You've got the smokiness of the of the dried chipotle. You have the nice brightness of the herbs and the lime juice. Just everything comes together. Makes it a super, super happy, delicious, wonderful hot sauce. I highly recommend you try it. So there you have it. As you can see, this makes a lot of sauce. From here, you've got some options. If you put it in mason jars, you can can it, just like you do any of your other jams or jellies or vegetables, and that works great. You can freeze it, and it'll keep a long time that way. You can also bottle it in these cute little squeeze bottles, and you can give it away to your friends. I hope you try it, and I hope you share it. Enjoy. Thank you for watching.